welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. Well, this is a movie that has pretty much everybody taking sides. Uh, let's see which side I'm going to take on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, not much of an intro is necessary because I think you know what this one is. Here's my review of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. When Superman and General Zod had their epic battle, they destroyed one of Bruce Wayne's buildings which resulted in the loss of innocent lives. Eighteen months later, Superman is seen by some as an idol and savior, while some believe he is a threat. Wayne believes he could destroy the world and sends out to stop him. The two finally meet in person, and let's just say they aren't exactly best pals. Enter Lex Luthor, who schemes up an evil plan that will force the two icons to go head-to-head -head in a fight for the ages. So what did I think of Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice? I thought it's a first-rate action film. Now, I know I'm in the minority on this one, but I really did enjoy this movie. <laughs> Is this the perfect superhero flick? Not exactly, but I had a huge blast with it. The film itself had a humongous role in having to create a universe for the heroes where they interact with each other. I was worried about there being too many heroes put on us too fast, but I feel it works perfectly fine here. Personally, I might have liked a little more on Affleck's Batman before jumping into this movie, but it's all good. I would recommend seeing Man of Steel before viewing this film as it's certainly connected and may cause confusion for those who haven't watched it yet. The first half of the film may take some patience from the audience. Keep in mind there is a lot of story building to do and most of it kept me interested. It also helps being a fan of the comics and knowing more than the casual Bat fan. There are a few moments that had me scratching my head with one or two dream sequences, but got that what was happening after thinking on it. The usual Zack Snyder thing. That first half is worth sitting through for the clash of the comic book icons who take each other to the limit. There's also an excellent final battle sequence which is up there with the best of them in the genre. Many have complained about the mood and the atmosphere and tone being too dark and depressing, but I didn't mind it. If all comic book movies had the same tone, it would get a little boring. Ben Affleck brings us the latest portrayal of Bruce Wayne and Batman, which I feel he does justice to. Get it? Justice? <laughs> anyway. This is a Batman who's been cleaning up crime in Gotham for 20 years and has already been through the ringer. He's also more badass and willing to off some fools. Henry Cavill's Superman and Clark Kent is going through a lot of changes as well, receiving both praise and ridicule from the world. Jesse Eisenberg also gives us a different take on Lex Luthor, making him a little more eccentric than past incarnations and is a welcome addition to the rogues gallery of villains. Gal Gadot, oh my my my, <laughs> brings us a fantastic take on Diana Prince, better known as Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, <laughs> and has me thrilled about her upcoming solo film. I also, a side note, loved the uh, music every time Wonder Woman or Diana was seen, shown. <laughs> uh, it just made me crack up. I loved it. The, especially the electric guitars. Uh, anyway, back to the story. Jeremy Irons takes over the role of Alfred Pennyworth, Bruce Wayne's butler and confidant, and also fills the character's shoes nicely. Returning to the action are Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Clark's girlfriend and big-time reporter, Diane Lane as Clark's mother, and Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White, Clark and Lois's boss at the Daily Planet. We also get a glimpse of some things to come for the Justice League. And now... For a taste of things to come. 
Uh, while others may not be as kind, I felt Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice is a fine start to another superhero universe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, get it for this one, but I give Batman vs. Superman the rating of A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. I enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, well, too bad. All right, well, that's the show. Hope I didn't lose too many subscribers on this one. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll gain more anyway. All right, until next time, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow on the Twitter at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.